I'm Sarah Birch with Kingstonist News, and here are your top headlines today, March 11, 2024. Two teams of post-secondary students were selected as winners of the annual Mayor's Innovation Challenge, hosted by the City of Kingston. In partnership with Queen's University, St. Lawrence College, and RMC, the Mayor's Innovation Challenge provides a unique opportunity for current or recently graduated students to help shape the future of Kingston. The winner of the Smart Kingston Stream is Baobab, a platform dedicated to combating resource scarcity through anonymous and convenient donations. The winner of the Public Sector Innovation Stream is Seagull, an AI-driven website that transforms phones and webcams into eyes for the visually impaired, offering real-time voice-guided navigation and object recognition. On Friday, March 8, 2024, Queen's University announced the appointment of Yan Wenziang as the Canada Excellence Research Chair in Impact of Radiation and Energy and Advanced Technologies. Dr. Zhang is an internationally recognized scientist whose research into nuclear materials may help the industry find ways to build safer and long-lasting reactors. Dr. Zhang's chair is valued at $8 million over eight years, and it will see her relocate her research program from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. The university shared that Dr. Zhang will begin her term in spring of 2024. One of two $12.5 million Lotto Max winning lottery tickets from Friday night's draw was sold in Kingston, Ontario, according to the OLG. The winning numbers were 1, 3, 6, 19, 21, 33, and 47, with the bonus number 10. The second winning ticket was sold in Brampton, Ontario. The top prize will now reset to $10 million for its next draw. Members of the Kingston Police Internet Child Exploitation Unit concluded an investigation which revealed a local individual was involved in writing child pornography and engaging in acts of bestiality. Through the course of the investigation, investigators were able to ascertain the individual's identity and location within Kingston. On Wednesday, March 6, 2024, the 36-year-old individual was arrested and transported to Kingston Police Headquarters, where they were held for a bail hearing and subsequently remanded into custody. The residents of a 14-story apartment building in Kingston's East End were forced to venture outdoors in the early morning hours after a fire broke out in one of the units. On Friday, March 8, 2024, the fire alarm at the Wellington apartment building on Highway 15 sounded, dispatching crews to the address while sending those within the building's 116 units outside to safety. The cause of the fire was determined to be improper disposal of smokers' materials, and the damages are estimated at $25,000. A single vehicle collision in the early morning of Friday, March 8, 2024 in Prince Edward County resulted in multiple charges for a local resident. The vehicle had left the roadway, entered a ditch, and collided with trees before coming to a stop. The driver sustained minor injuries, and as a result, the 43-year-old Ramandeep Lahal of Prince Edward County was arrested and charged. Dry spring-like days have led the Greater Napanee Fire Department to advise residents about exercising caution during the open-air burning due to the hazardous conditions. For more on this story and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAHB2024 for 10% off.